In early 2018, Aotearoa New Zealand became a spacefaring nation with its first successful orbital flight of the Electron rocket by Rocket Labs. Let's talk about the rocket equation. To simplify things, let's consider a rocket in deep space, far from any external forces. How do we move? By conservation of momentum, the total momentum of the rocket system must stay constant. So we can throw out a part of the rocket, giving that part of the rocket some momentum. The rest of the rocket must also gain some momentum in the opposite direction, such that the sum is still constant. Thus we can increase our own momentum by dispensing some disposable fuel source. Let's start with a rocket of mass m travelling at velocity v. At every point in time, t plus dt, it ejects some mass, dm, at an exhaust velocity, ve, thus gaining a new velocity, v plus dv. Let's look at the momentum equation. Note that dm is negative, and I am using v minus ve, such that we get the velocity relative to a stationary observer. Let's expand that bracket. Now dv dm is infinitesimally small, so we can discard it. Thus the momentum of the rocket at t plus dt is mv plus mdv plus dm ve. Now of course the momentum at t is mv, so we can find the differential momentum as mdv plus dm ve. However, we already said that there were no external forces acting upon the rocket, so we know that the momentum is constant. Therefore, dp is zero. We can rearrange the equation to get mdv is equal to negative dm ve. If we divide by dt, we get ma on the left, and negative the rate at which mass is expelled times the exhaust velocity on the right hand side. This looks very much like Newton's second law, and we can define the right hand side as a new force. This is thrust. Note that it is actually positive because dm is negative. Let's go back to an earlier equation. m dv is equal to negative dm ve. We can solve this differential equation to get v minus v naught is equal to ve times the natural log of m naught over m. v naught is the initial velocity of the rocket, and m naught is its initial mass, including both fuel and payload. This is the rocket equation, and what makes rocketry so difficult. Here's a chart of what the natural log factor is for a given percentage fuel of the rocket. This is why rockets are mostly fuel, with very small payloads compared to their launch mass.